Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I am so glad that you're there. Because what we're going to talk about today is something we all suffer with, and that's pain. What causes your pain? What are the things that you're doing to make your problem worse? Now, I've been in practice about 35 years now, 36 years. I just saw I had an anniversary. Uh, 36 years now, and we deal with pain patients all day, every day. We have four offices, pain patients in and out the door constantly. So we as chiropractors, I'm also board certified, like I said, orthopedics, uh, pain management. I'm board certified in nutrition. So a lot of tough cases end up in our laps. A lot of times doctors, hospitals uh, have given up on a lot of patients. And we don't know what else to do. Go see Joe and his clan, see if they can help you. In most cases, we can. So what we try to do is get to the cause of your problem and not just treat the symptoms. And as I was talking to Garrett about this show, I thought, I've never done a show on what things you're doing that can be causing pain. In all the years we've been, a decade or more we've been on the air, Never did a show like this, so this is going to be a fun show. So there are things that you're doing every single day that can make your pain worse, and you don't even realize it. And that's what we're going to cover today, so that you can go, aha, you're right, Dr. Joe. That is something that I do or that I wear or that I sleep on, and boy, you're absolutely right. I never thought that that could be it. And we get that all day, every day in our offices. We go over healthcare with patients, and they always say, I never looked at it like that before. In fact, just this week, uh, one day we had two doctors and three nurses come in as patients. And when I explain things to them, they always say the same thing. They go, I never thought of it like that before. It's pretty cool. So let's jump right into it. Reasons why you're in pain. Number one is shoes. Now, this is important because we blame our pain on a lot of different things. But Cleveland Clinic uh, in Florida, uh, he had some examples, this this guy, David Westerhall. Uh, Flip-flops and uh, foam-soled sandals. These can cause a lot of problems because they don't give you good support. They don't give you a lot of arch support. That can lead to pain in your feet, which can lead to pain in your ankles, which can lead to pain in your knees, which can go to your hips. So I get this question about once a week. And they'll say, Dr. Joe, I have plantar fasciitis. I have uh, uh, bunions. I have uh, bone spurs in my feet. What supplement can I take for that? Well, the problem with that is that that's not a supplement issue. That's a structural issue. And I believe the missing link in healthcare, and I've talked about this in the past, I believe the missing link in healthcare is that we're missing the structure when it comes to healthcare. We try to treat everything chemically. What pill can I take? Even what supplement can I take? Uh, what cream can I use? What lotion? What, what uh, topical uh, pain management can I use? But many times the problem is structural. So what that means is you have 206 bones in your body. Any one of them can come out of place. And if they come out of place, that can cause a cascade effect and shift everything above and below it. So with the feet, if you have bone spurs, plantar fasciitis, uh, bunions, the bones are out of place. Every case I've ever seen, this is what's happened. The bones in the foot move out of place. One-fourth of all the bones in your body are in your feet. So if the bones move out of place, that causes you to walk a little crooked. That can put stress on your knees. The knees, that can put stress on the hips, which can put stress on the low back. Now, in the low back, if we pinch a nerve in the low back, those nerves control your hips, knees, and feet. So we may have to go in there and adjust the feet, put the bones back in place to take the stress off the knees and stress off the hips and open up the nerve supply back to the foot. So you've got this little cycle going on back and forth. So many times if you have bad shoes, that can cause issues. Now, when I was a kid, we were really poor. So you had dress shoes. When the dress shoes got old, they became your play shoes. We never had sneakers. And I remember playing football in the street or hockey in the street in dress shoes. And you slide across the, 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 the pavement. And many, many, many times I twist my ankle. And so over the years, I did a lot of ankle damage. Then I played football. Then I played hockey. Weak ankles. Kept sprained my ankle, sprained my ankle. Well, that led to problems with my knees, which led to problems with my low back. Finally, when I realized that it was a chiropractic case, I didn't realize that when I was a kid, I got chiropractic care, and I had to work from the, from the low back down and from the bottom up. I had to get my feet adjusted, my knees adjusted. I still have to get my feet and knees adjusted. Because when I was young, I kept twisting them out of place. I stretched the ligaments. Now, ligaments uh, hold bones together, and ligaments are like rubber bands. If you have a brand new rubber band and you stretch it, it never goes back to its original form. And each time you stretch it, it gets weaker and weaker. That's exactly what happens to your ligaments, happened to my ligaments. And so because of that, I had structural issues that it took me years to get stable. Now, had I been smart when I was young and had good shoes when I was running and playing, I wouldn't have had all these problems to begin with. And so they just kind of snowballed. So 
your shoes are really important. You want to get really good shoes. Um, I had the darndest time trying to find shoes. Um, I liked Merrell's for a long time, and then I found Skechers, and they're so light, and I love them. The problem is the Skechers kind of wear out a little bit quicker than other shoes, but those are the kind I like. Now, I have no affiliation with any of these shoe companies. This is just what I found to be the best. They're light. They're easy to wear, um, and you can hike in them. So you want to make sure you get a really good shoe. When a shoe starts to wear out, get a new one. You can put insoles in them, and you can try to get different shoelaces, whatever it is. If the shoe's wearing out, the shoe's wearing out. It's time to get new shoes. So I, I have no problem with that in getting new shoes because it's worth it to me, and I like to be comfortable. So uh, same thing with dress shoes. It took me a long time to find dress shoes that had looked nice but had rubber soles on the bottom. And so when I finally found them, I was pretty happy with that too. And so it's really important that you wear the right shoes, and things like flip-flops, not a good idea. Shoes that don't fit, not a good idea. Um, try to get shoes that fit. Don't try to. Get shoes that fit properly. It's going to save you a lot of money and pain in the long run and probably even saving your chiropractic bills because you won't have to come see us so much. So we're talking today about reasons you're in pain, and you may have never thought about it, but uh, we'll go back to shoes. God, I can beat the heck out of shoes here. Look at your heels. If the heels are wearing unevenly, something's not right. Now, you can buy new shoes, but what's going to happen is that let's say your left heel wears out more than your right. It's going to happen again and again. That's telling you that you have bones out of place in either your hips, your feet, your, your, ank uh, your ankles, uh, your, your low back. The bones are out of place, and when you're walking, you're not hitting the ground equally. And so that can cause the shoes to wear out. So look at these things. This is a warning sign. This is telling you something's wrong structurally. I need to go see Dr. Joe and his team, or certainly a qualified chiropractor. But, of course, I think I, I'm a little biased. I think, we're, I think we're the best. So. So you can get in and get that fixed. In many, many cases, when we do that, patients say, my shoes don't fit me right anymore. They start a chiropractic care with us, and the shoes don't fit right anymore. Why is that? Because now the feet are balanced, and you used to have them off balance. So actually, it's right, but you think it's wrong because you're used to it being wrong. So look at your shoes. Use those things as a warning sign. I always say look for the warning signs. Get to the cause of the problem. The shoe wearing out is not the issue. You don't need new shoes. You may have to fix your back then the shoes won't wear out unevenly. So always get to the cause. Don't just treat the symptoms. Smartphones. This can cause pain. Now, I am not a fan of smartphones. I use them, of course. We all do. But what happens is smartphones have something called electromagnetic frequencies, EMFs. And when you have EMFs close to your body, they change the cell structure. The cell has a wall around it. And in the wall has a calcium channel. It's a lot of different openings, tons and tons of different openings. But one of the openings is called a calcium channel, and it allows some calcium into the cell. What happens is electromagnetic frequencies can open up these calcium channels, and you get this flood of calcium into the cell. When that happens, this calcium that's in the cell, excessive amounts, causes free radicals to form. Free radicals are like Pac-Man. They eat through things. Waka, 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 waka. And so they're eating through things. So when you open up this calcium gate and you dump all this calcium into the cell, it creates free radicals. Free radicals can now eat away or damage the inner workings of the cell, the DNA, the RNA, um, the, the mitochondria, uh, the cytoplasm. And so it's eating away at these things, and it can cause some real serious damage. The big challenge we have is near the heart. If you have electromagnetic frequencies near the heart, it can open up these calcium channels and it can change the heart cells. Uh, we have seen studies where if you have electromagnetic frequency near the testicles, it can change sperm production. So I strongly advise that if you have a cell phone, which you probably do, try not to carry it in your front pocket or in your front vest. Or women, don't put it in your bra because it's going to cause more damage. Now, I try to, when I get my car, I take my cell phone out. When I get home, I put my cell phone on the other side of the room. Um, I try to stay away from my cell phone as much as possible, but that's not possible if you're going to be part of society because you have to have your cell phone with you. You're walking. you got to carry it with you. So if I walk, I try to carry it in my hand. If I do put it anywhere, I put it in my back pocket. This way, it's a little further away from my reproductive organs. But this can cause pain. And so we now know that if you put the cell phone next to your head, and there's been studies out this for years, it can uh, heat up the cells in your brain. And we don't recommend using your cell phone uh, touching your ear. And in fact, I know that's not silly, touching your ear. Of course I have my cell phone touching my ear. 
Read that little packet of instructions that came with your cell phone, the one you never read, the one I don't think anybody ever read. It clearly says, do not put this cell phone next to your ear. Hold it a few inches or a few millimeters or a few centimeters away from your ear. No one's ever read that. But it says it right there in the directions. Why? Because electromagnetic frequencies can actually heat up the cells in the brain, and the thinner your skull, the more damage occurs. Who has a thin skull? Children. Now, there's a Moody Blues song, and I've quoted this song many times, and one of the lines in the song is, and I'm frightened for your children. And I'm very frightened for our children because they are living a very different world that we lived in. It was weird enough when we had cell phones. It was weird enough when kids were online. Now kids are in lockdown. They're not going to school. Uh, we see issues with suicide among children skyrocketing because they're getting depressed because where you and I lived a social life in high school, you had friends, you went to events, you may have played sports, you dated. You did these things in high school. These kids aren't doing that now due to this lockdown. And so where, what are they doing? They're spending all their time with their best friend, their cell phone. And where are they putting it? They're putting it next to their head when they go to sleep at night. They're constantly on their cell phones. They're staring close to the screens. So I don't know what this is going to do, but I don't like it. So cell phones can actually cause pain. So I'll tell you anecdotal stories. Many times patients will come in and say, Dr. Joe, I got this right hip pain, and you guys are doing amazing work with it, but it's just not going away. The right hip pain is just hanging on, and I don't know why. And I'll look around, and I'll see if they carry their cell phone in their right hip pocket. And I'll say, all right, what I want you to do is switch it to your left hip pocket. In many cases, within a week or two, they come back and say, you know what, Doc? You guys are a miracle workers. That right hip pain is finally gone. But you know what? My left hip is starting to hurt now. So think about this. Where you carry your cell phone, do you have pain there? It can cause headaches. It can heat up the cells in the brain. Not a good idea. If you put it in your front pocket for men and women, it can affect the reproductive organs. Women, put it in your breast or you put it, gentlemen, your, your uh, jacket pockets or your shirt pockets. Don't put it near your heart because electromagnetic frequencies changes the calcium channels and that can cause some real serious problems and that could be a cause of your pain. Every night when I, every morning when I wake up, Dr. Joe, I have a headache, okay? We check them out chiropractically. We check them out orthopedically. We have a medical doctor on staff. We might do a medical evaluation, get an MRI, get a CAT scan, do x-rays. Every night, Dr. Joe, I get a headache. Okay, where do you put your cell phone? Well, I read my cell phone as I'm falling asleep, and then I fall asleep. It's right next to me. Get your cell phone the other side of the room. In many cases, headaches are gone. So different people have different sensitivities to their cell phones. So your cell phone could be the reason why you're having problems. So try to stay away from your cell phone. I know that's a hard thing to say as far as you can. At night, you have Wi-Fi in your house. I'm assuming you do. I recommend you shut it off. And the reason is that Wi-Fi is just traveling through the air. It's constantly at least give your body a break from all that Wi-Fi. You can buy a timer. They use them on Christmas trees. I think they're like 8 or $9 at the big box stores, maybe $10. And you can set your timer and say, okay, I want the timer to shut off my Wi-Fi at 11 o'clock. I want to come back on again at 6 o'clock. Whatever, whatever hours work for you. It's just another step. Is it going to make a difference? I don't know. Is it worth $8, $9? Absolutely, yes. So that's a good idea, too, is shut off the Wi-Fi at night. If you can, get your cell phone far away. Think about where your pain is and see if your cell phone is near there. And if it is, we will say once again, Dr. Joe was right. Dr. Joe's usually right. Kind of goes along with the same thing. This before cell phones, I had problem with patients with wallets. You take your wallet, you stick it in your back pocket, and you have shooting pain down that leg. So what are you doing? You're sitting on that wallet, and you're pushing on your hip. Now, that's a chiropractic adjustment. We use something called blocks. And blocks look like wedges. And you can put them underneath people's hips in certain positions, and it can slowly rotate the hips back into place. Same thing happens with a wallet, only it's not putting the hip back in place. It's pushing the hip out of place. And so if you're sitting on a wallet and you have back pain, get rid of the wallet. Now, the fatter the wallet, the worse it is. But you're thinking to yourself, but Dr. Joe, I have no place to put my driver's license or my credit cards. So get a thin wallet, the thinnest wallet you can possibly get, and carry as little as possible with you. Now, if you wear a jacket or you have a shirt pocket, you can always put it in your shirt pocket. That's fine because, again, there's no electromagnetic frequencies with a wallet. So the cell phone electromagnetic frequencies – that's an issue. The wallet is more structural. It's just pushing on things. So maybe put it in your front pocket. 
That's what I do with my wallet. I carry it in my front pocket, and it's real thin. Um, so try to get that wallet out of, out of the way because it's putting a lot of stress on your body. And again, as a chiropractor and a pain management expert, I want to give you as many tips as I can to get to the cause of your pain, not just treat the symptoms. Now, let's assume you go through all the things that we're going to teach you today. It's not fixing it. Or you've had pain for a long time. You've had pain for a day or two. I would like to see you as a patient. I would like for you to come see us. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Now, I can't be in all offices, of course, but all my doctors are handpicked by me. They're trained by me, and they truly are, in my opinion, the superstar all-star team of doctors. If there was a healthcare Olympics, we would win, hands down. Healthcare Super Bowl, we would win, hands down, in my opinion. Uh, we have medical care as well. So if you need an injection, if you need an ablation, which is we actually damage and burn a nerve, uh, it's called the medium branch nerve, um, to try to kill that nerve, it grows back, but you can at least calm it down so we can get in there and do better chiropractic adjustments with you. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, stop suffering. Just make an appointment to come see us. You can do it right online, drjoe.com. Uh, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We accept most insurances, car accidents. Oh, gosh, folks, please. If you've ever been in a car accident, if the car was damaged, you were damaged. I've never, in my 36 years of practice, saw somebody walk away from a damaged car, well, damaged car that didn't have damage to themselves. You are not stronger than steel or plastic, whatever your car is made out of. You are not stronger than that. So come see us as quickly as possible because the longer you wait with car accidents, the more likely the insurance companies to give you a hard time. You could be 100% right. And I, Dr. Joe, I'm right. I didn't cause the accident. I know that. The insurance company will do everything they can to make sure that they pay as little as possible. And so sometimes that's even accusing you of things you didn't do. And I've seen that hundreds of times. So come see us as quickly as possible. If you have other issues, just come see us. You can book it right online. Normally, the first visit is $375. Through COVID, we've reduced that to $199. What does that include? An examination, a consultation, x-rays, your first chiropractic treatment, the next visit going over your x-rays, and the nutrition evaluation. The nutrition evaluation alone is $150. So you're silly not to take advantage of this. And the biggest complaint I get is, why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I wait so long? And every day that goes by, your problem is just getting worse and worse in most cases. DrJoe.com, you can book right online or call us. There's a number there, and you can call us and get that set up. And again, we do accept insurance for treatments after that. We even take Medicare. How cool is that? Uh, we have medical services. We have PRP. PRP is taking your own blood cells, your platelets, spinning them down in a centrifuge, and then putting them back into your body in a concentrated form. So for knee arthritis, shoulder arthritis, any arthritis, um, PRP is amazing. It great, it's great for hair, re hair replacement. You actually in inject your own cells back into the scalp, and you can grow hair with it. Erectile dysfunction, urinary leakage in women, sexual dysfunction in women. PRP is crazy. So we have a lot of services. I won't go into that. Go to our website, drjoe.com. There's a drop down. It says services, uh, and you see everything we have to offer, weight loss programs. We want to be your doctors. So you can do it right online, drjoe.com. So we're talking today about why are you in pain? What are the things you're doing that are causing pain? How many people drive a lot? Driving is so bad for your back. Uh, I remember years ago, a uh, big power company right around my office, uh, they hired me to come in as a consultant. And I went in, and they were talking about how many, how, how many missed days they had with back injuries. Uh, cold and flu is the number one reason people miss work. Back injury, back pain is number two. And I said, Dr. Joe, we got to do something. We're losing so much time and manpower with people missing work with back pain. So I interviewed the drivers. I met with them. We had a nice conversation. I said, can I go look at your trucks? Sure. Jump up in a truck, I sit down, my butt just sunk. Every truck I sat in, the seats were worn out. Nobody ever thought that the seats were worn out. They just thought that the guys were out on the poles, climbing. That wasn't it. It was the bad seats they had in the trucks. So I recommended some, you can buy seat cushions, and I recommended some seat cushions. And I went back a few months later, and I said, how's it going? They said, almost no days off. Everyone's feeling so much better. Quick, easy, inexpensive fix. But driving's not good for you to begin with. If you have a bad seat, even worse. So driving pulls your head way away from the headrest because we all lean forward when we drive. I do too. So what you want to do is when you're driving, try to push your back of your skull against your headrest. And in fact, that's an exercise we give our patients many times is just take your chin and as if you're driving your chin toward the back of your neck and just push your head against the headrest. And every time you come to a red light, I want you to do that 10 times. And what that's doing is it's strengthening your, your neck muscles and reminding you to bring your head up forward. I'm as guilty as you are. We all have bad driving habits. 
but this could be the reason why you're having so much pain. Sometimes neck pain, sometimes back pain. It depends. Another issue that I've seen, again, I've been doing this for 36 years. The, another thing I'm seeing now is video game issues. People are hurting themselves playing video games because it's, a, you know, it's real live action and they get real excited and they get really into it. And you can actually hurt yourself playing video games. Because first of all, you're probably slouched over. You're not sitting well. You may be sitting on the edge of the couch. You're leaning back. You don't have good ergonomic posture. Then you're getting all excited, and you can jerk your body, jerk your head, and that can cause problems. And we have see it a lot. Kids come in, usually kids, but now we're seeing adults too. Coming in, what'd you do? Nothing, Dr. Joe. I did nothing. I don't know why my neck hurts. Okay, let's talk about your lifestyle. I hardly do anything. I don't lift weights. I don't work out. I don't do, I don't do gar gardening. I like to sit around and play video games. Okay, let's talk about the video games. So video games can actually be a trauma, and that can cause injury to your body. So start thinking. And I always teach people this. Think about why, when you have the pain. And many times I have people write down what they eat, which I'll cover in the next half of the show. We'll talk about foods that can cause pain. But I'll see them, and I'll say, start writing down what you eat, and then write down when you have a pain. And then I'll have to look at that and say, okay, what else did you do? Well, I wasn't doing anything, Dr. Joe. It was Friday night. My friends were over. We were playing video games. There you go. Okay? So these are things that you may not realize are causing the pain, and they are. Now, if a bone is out of place, that's usually cause of the pain. Something is inflamed, and that puts pressure on a nerve. But here's the thing. 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. You can have a pinched nerve and not know it 90% of the time. So, for example, you don't feel your blood pressure controlled by nerves. You don't feel your spleen, your kidneys, your adrenal glands, your uh, hair grow, all controlled by nerves. So in our offices, not only do we check the nerves that feel pain, we can check the 90% of the nerves that don't feel pain. And the reason is if we take you on as a patient, I don't want to get you out of pain. I want to get you well. There's a big difference. I can give you medication, which make you dopey, but you'll be out of pain. Or we can get to the cause of the problem, and hopefully you don't need the medication. I was just uh, talking to some uh, students because I do a lot of workshops with students and other doctors, and I was saying uh, non steroidal anti-inflammatories, you know, over-the-counter painkillers. Did you know that they can affect testosterone production by affecting the testicles in men? So if you're taking over-the-counter over painkillers, you don't think anything about it. Ah, I feel good. You know, I'll take this. No big deal. It can actually affect your, your testosterone. And testosterone is not just your sperm. It, it's not, not just your sex drive hormone, but you need testosterone to build muscle. Not just biceps and triceps. How about your heart? How about your colon? How about your blood vessels? These are all muscles as well. So if testosterone drops, it becomes a big issue. I told a story. My father took a shot um, because they thought he might have possibly had something with his uh, prostate, so they gave him uh, something that would shut down his testosterone production because testosterone can, cause, can grow um, uh, prostate cancer. He died a couple of weeks later, and his heart stopped. I believe they lowered his testosterone so low that he already had a heart condition, probably killed him. So we don't want to be doing those things. If we can get you off medication, that's great. If you need medication, take it, absolutely. But if we can get you off the medication, whether it's nutrition, chiropractic, supplements, that's my goal. So i got to go to a break. If you want to make an appointment, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We would love to be your doctors. We accept most insurances, car accidents, sports injuries, Medicare. Uh, first visit is normally $375. We've reduced that price to $199. Exam, x-rays, consultation, first adjustment, going over your x-rays on the next visit, and the nutrition evaluation. So when we come back, folks, we're going to talk a little bit more about food. Uh, but again, if you want more information about us, our website is drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E.com. You can book it right online. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. If you're just joining us, welcome. If you stayed with us, I appreciate that. What we're talking about today is what's causing my pain. And we've come up with a bunch of weird things that you would have never thought could be causing pain. And when I do this with our patients, this is kind of like a consultation I'm doing with each one of you, we try to get to the cause of your problem, not just treat the symptoms. And if we can get to the cause, we usually get some really good results. Now, I talked a lot about structural issues. I can't do a show without talking about food, right? Cheese. Cheese many times is a trigger for pain. Your favorite food may be the reason why you're having headaches. Aged cheeses like blue cheese, cheddar, Parmesan, and Swiss contain high amounts of, a, of, a, of amino acid called tyramine. 
This is notorious as a headache trigger and can be found in a lot of processed meats, beverages, particularly draft beer and other alcohols. So many times you say, I can't drink, I get a headache. It may not be the booze, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. It might be the tyramine. And especially if you're out having a beer and some cheese, bad situation, bad combination. Um, they have a, there's a fancy word for it. I forget, shot a, shot a crew or something. It's a cheese plate. We used to call it a meat plate or a cheese plate. And it usually has, you know, processed meats and processed cheeses on it, maybe some crackers. And if you eat these things, they are high in tyramine in many cases, and that can trigger headaches. So what I recommend, recommend everybody do this anyway, is go to our website, drjoe.com, and under uh, clinics, I think it is, there's patient forms. Click on the thing that says patient forms. You've got to go to drop-down box. And under patient forms, you'll see something called a diet diary. This is free. Print it up. It's yours. Print a thousand of them. I don't care. And in the diet diary, I want you to write down everything you eat for about three or four days. Everything. I don't care if you chew on a piece of gum, if you suck on a candy, if you have a sip of beer, whatever it is, you have to write it down because you'll be surprised how many pain triggers there are that you never thought about. It took me forever to realize I can't eat chocolate. Chocolate gives me headaches. And I can remember, I was talking about this with somebody the other day. I remember as a child at my Aunt Mary's, Aunt Mariska, because she was from Poland, my Aunt Mary, and we'd be at Aunt Mariska's house, and sometimes there would be like uh, milk chocolate there. Now, this is before I got smart and gave up dairy. And I remember eating it in the summer and running with my cousins and getting a headache. And so every time I ate chocolate, I associated that with a headache. Then for years, I forgot about it, and it took, me, it took me a long time to figure it out again. So chocolate is one of my triggers. If I had not written it down, I wouldn't have put it all together. So chocolate can be a trigger. Caffeine can be a trigger. Monosodium glutamate can be a trigger. What happens is in the cells, if you traumatize a cell, especially in brain injuries like whiplashes or a head, a car accidents, the cells open up and allow glutamic acid to pump into the cell in mass quantities. And when the cell is damaged and glutamic acid gets into the cell, it's called an excitotoxin. It causes the brain or the muscle, the nerves to fire faster than they're supposed to and can literally burn out cells. So this glutamic acid pumping into the cells can cause real serious damage. So we deal with tra traumatic brain injuries in our offices, and we see a lot of them from sports injuries, football players, car accidents. Almost every car accident is going to have some type of traumatic brain injury. Um, we always want to look at nutritional components. And I say, what's causing your headaches? I don't know. Write it down. When did you get a headache? Last night. What did you eat? Thai food, Chinese food, uh, crackers, chips, loaded with monosodium glutamate. And so those monosodium glutamate, when it gets into the cell, is an excitotoxin. What I do recommend with patients like that is we make sure their magnesium levels are normal. If you're not eating enough magnesium, the magnesium actually seals up that opening so the monosodium glutamate can't, or the glutamic acid can't get into the cell. And so traumatic brain injuries, many times, I've seen this already in hospitals, spinal injury centers, um, they'll be having chips. Or they'll be having, uh, you know, uh, uh, smoky flavored things. And you look at the ingredients, monosodium glutamate. These people have a traumatic brain injury. The cells are already open too much and allowing too much glutamic acid in to begin with, and now you're giving them more glutamic acid. Who would ever think that? Get them on a magnesium supplement, get them off the monosodium glutamate, and many times that helps the pain and helps the brain start to heal. And then you could also do laser treatment for the brain. We have a laser. It's, it's a, called an Arconia Class II laser, and I am finding amazing results with this stuff. Um, and you can do a brain protocol just to stimulate the brain. And I'm doing it every day now. You know, I put two minutes here, what, two minutes here, two minutes here, you know, the front of my brain, the front of my skull, two sides of my skull, the back of the skull, where the atlas meets the occiput back there. So it's maybe a six or eight minute protocol. And I just sit there while I'm working. I just hold it, hold the laser next to my head. Uh, create incredible results with it. I'm seeing some great, great things happening. And it's really, it's the same protocol used for traumatic brain injury. And so what it does is the laser will stimulate what's called the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the part of the cell that produces energy. And so it, the mitochondria produces more energy. The cell becomes stronger and is able to do a lot of different things. One of them is to pump out the glutamic acid. And so you activate the glutamic acid pump to get it out of the cell, and that helps tremendously for further damage from occurring. And then with that energy, the cell is able to start to heal. Now, if a cell is dead, it's dead. Okay, but with the, with the lasers, many times you can rewire the brain. The brain has something called plasticity. Plasticity is like plastic. It can remodel itself and bend. 
So when you're pumping uh, light laser energy into a cell to stimulate the, the, the mitochondria to produce energy, the cells now are able to become more active and many times can rewire themselves and become more active again. So I'm really excited about that too. And, and, and again, if you've never listened to the show, uh, you, you're, you're always in for a treat with these shows because I'm always looking for the latest and greatest cutting edge treatment for you, our patients. Why do I do this? I'm a patient too. I just got treated with PRP the other day. Our medical doctor treated me with PRP, took my blood, spun it down, took the platelets out, and re-injected it back into my body. Why? Because as I'm getting older, I don't have as many stem cells. I don't have as much uh, growth factor as I used to. And so I can kind of jumpstart it. And it's called the anti-aging medicine. It's really cool. Um, we've had several patients now get the P-shot, people that men with erectile dysfunction. And you can take the, stem, uh, the PRP and put it back into the body and stimulate new growth. Of, of new cells and new function for men when, when there's erectile issues. Uh, for women, if you cough and you leak, leak urine, how many women do that? A lot of you do. I know you do because you tell us after you're patient for a couple of weeks and you feel comfortable with us. Uh, perhaps uh, there's a, a romantic issue. You may be not experiencing pleasure. Uh, many times it's called an O-shot, and that same thing, it's PRP. We can put it back into the body and stimulate the body to work. So if you go to our website, drjoe.com, we have a services tab. We got a ton of services. I can't go through all of them. But it's really neat stuff. And I go back to where I was now talking about food. Uh, we're talking about triggers and pain triggers. Um, food can be a big one, and cheese and alcohol can be a big trigger. So if you write down what you're eating, many times you'll say, gosh, every time I eat Thai food, I get a headache. Well, they use fish sauce in Thai food a lot of times. So that's why I like to go to, uh, if I have Thai food, I got to make sure they truly are making it vegan with no fish sauce. Because if there's fish sauce, I'm going to get a headache. Um, so and there's a lot of, there's really good vegan, uh, Thai, what's it called? Thai house up in Roswell. They do a great vegan menu and I'm really happy with that. And I know there's no fish sauce and I can eat there. So we're talking today about reasons why you have pain. What's causing your pain? And as a chiropractor, we always think it's a pinched nerve and it usually is, but what's causing the pinched nerve taken to another level, uh, chiropractic care, number one treatment for back pain by far most effective, least expensive treatment for back pain. So if you have pain, headaches, numbness, tingling, folks, just come see us. It's silly that you're not coming to see us because you're wasting time, you're wasting money, and time is valuable. Sometimes we can't get that time back because the damage gets worse and worse. So just come see us. You can book it right online, Dr. Joe, drjoe.com. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Another issue that I've seen with COVID is couch potato syndrome. So what are you doing? You're laying on the couch. I'm not a fan of couches. I've yet to find a comfortable couch. But you sit on the couch. You cross your legs, put one leg up under the other, you spread out, you throw your head against the cushions and be behind. Some couches aren't tall enough. I'm tall, so I, I, I can't get support behind me. And that becomes a big issue. So I really want you to consider, if you're sitting on the couch all day, is this hurting my back? Maybe you can get a chair. I got a big, comfortable chair uh, that I watch TV in, and I love it. And it's big enough. I can lean back. It's, it's, it's very strong. It was a very well-made quality product. Uh, my grandfather came from Germany in 1922. Some of the advice he gave me was, always buy the best, it's always cheaper. And this is a man who didn't speak English, coming to America during World War II, speaking German. And he, he did well. He's one of the classic immigrant stories. Uh, but he said, always buy the best, it's always cheaper. And boy, is that ever true. And that goes for supplements. That goes for health care. Uh, I don't want discount brain surgery. I want the best there is if I need brain surgery. If I need chiropractic care, I want the best there is. If I need PRP treatments, I want the best there is. And I'm willing to spend a few extra dollars because I know if it doesn't work, it's not worth anything. We've all done that. We've been to the dollar store and you said, oh, this is only a dollar. I'm going to buy that and it breaks. Well, that was a wasted dollar. It doesn't matter how cheap it is if it doesn't work. And when it comes to health care, it can have adverse effects. Let's leave it there. So you definitely want to get the best of the best. And so, uh, you know, we talk about supplements. People come to me all the time and say, Dr. Joe, what supplement should I take? Well, for pain, uh, we have a supplement called turmeric. And turmeric is a, a great for anti-inflammatory. And I take it every day just because it has so many nutritional benefits to it. But we also have a product called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide opens up your blood vessels and increases circulation. And so we like to, I like to take nitric oxide every day. The minimum supplements everybody should be taking is Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. They taste great. I mix them together. We have plain essential so super greens and mint. I like the mint. It's a little sweeter. I mix a scoop of each. I shake it up with some coconut milk or almond milk. First thing I do in the morning when I get out of bed, I have super greens and essential source. I've got my minimum supplements in my body. 
Then I take vitamin D. Vitamin D has been shown to help people with chronic pain. And it's good for the immune system. I take vitamin D every day. I take five drops of Dr. Joe's vitamin D every day. I take Dr. Joe's nitric oxide. I take Dr. Joe's turmeric uh, because I have a lot of injuries. I broke my back twice. I have two fractures in my back anyway. I broke my arm twice. Two fractures in my back. I uh, got hit by a car when I was a kid. Chronic headaches for many, many, many years. Chiropractic nutrition and cold laser has done amazing for me as far as getting the spine stabilized. PRP. Amazing results we're seeing with PRP. So again, we want to get to the cause of your problem, not just treat the symptoms. So again, more information on the website, drjoe.com. Just look at our services tab. Look at all the services we offer, weight management, hormone balancing. Uh, If you want to make an appointment, do it right online. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We want to be your doctors. And that's in the Atlanta area, folks. I know this podcast goes all over the world. I should say that. Um, If you're not in the Atlanta area, we can always do telemedicine conference if we need to with you. So we're more than happy to do that as well. So we're talking today about what's causing your pain, and then, of course, what to do about it is chiropractic care should always be, I feel, your first uh, line of treatment, uh, unless it's severe. You're screaming in pain, you have shooting pain, you lose bowel or bladder control, you lose consciousness, that's an emergency room visit. But generally speaking, 99% of patients do very well with chiropractic care as their first step. Uh, A lot of times, folks are home now, and they're spending a lot more time with their babies. And so, again, start thinking about your lifestyle. What am I doing differently? I'm lifting my kid all the time, or maybe I just had a baby. And I'm lifting this kid all the time. That can be an issue. Put strain on your wrist. Put strain on your hands and your back. We see a lot of new parents coming in to see us and saying, Dr. Joe, I I was a professional athlete or I uh, played sports or I worked out all the time. And now this kid who weighs 10 pounds is killing me. Yeah, it's a different type of weight. It's movable weight. You know, it's not static weight. That could put stress on the body. Just come see us. Let's get that fixed. Um, If you're carrying your laptop around, A lot of people aren't doing that now. They're staying home and working from home, probably saving a lot of injuries because when people have to carry their samples and their laptops and everything, that causes big issues. Uh, Women, if you carry a purse, or men, I guess. I can't be offending anybody because women carry purses here. I don't want to get anybody mad at me. Um, You can strap your purse over your shoulder, not just on one side, but across your body. That That distributes the weight, a lot less stress. Uh, women sometimes will come to us and say, Dr. Joe, I get a headache on the weekends. I don't get it during the week. I get a headache during the weekends or vice versa. Okay. What are you doing differently? Once again, we dig into their lifestyle and it turns out at some point they're putting a hair in a ponytail and that could be putting stress on the head and that can cause headaches as well. So again, when our offices, we always try to get to the cause of the problem. Uh, I've talked a lot about, uh, environmental issues and we did a show last week on environmental issues and cleaning, cleaning up your house, but certain smells can give you pain. I used to do construction work back in, back in my high school days, and we worked at a place called Sun Chemical in East Rutherford, New Jersey. And they eventually got shut down because they were dumping cancer products everywhere. And I think they reopened, though. I think they cleaned everything up. But I know there was a big issue. But I remember being, when, I, when we used to work there at, at, on a con- contract work, um, I get a blazing headache. And I always thought, well, I was out in the sun. It was the summer. Or maybe I had a few beers that night. Back then, I was normal. Um, but when I wasn't working there, I finally figured out just the chemicals alone were getting to me. And so if there's paint, something was recently painted, something was recently varnished, cleaning products, many of these things can trigger pain. So start to think about what am I exposing myself to and when does it occur? And when you start to see a pattern, that's why the diet diary on the website, drjoe.com, you can print it up. It's free. You can write down what you're eating, but also make notes in the margins. You know what? Every time I work out, I get a headache. Every time I don't work out, I get a headache. Every time I do laundry, I get a headache. Well, maybe it's the soap. Maybe it's your uh, dryer sheets. Start trying to isolate where the cause is. It makes everybody's job a lot easier. Of course, sleep is a big issue. A lot of people have to go to bed when they're in pain. A lot of people wake up in pain. So look at your bed. You know, if maybe I slept in a wrong... Uh, I have patients come in all the time. I was traveling, Dr. Joe, my back hurts. Eh, I get that. I understand it's a different bed. I was traveling, Dr. Joe, my back didn't hurt. Okay, time for a new bed then. And you've got to consider what's, what's going on there. What type of pillow do you use? Is it a high pillow? Is it a low pillow? Is it a soft pillow? A hard pillow? And these are things that we can test you for if you bring the pillows in. I can do muscle testing to see if the, if the pillow is good for you or not. We do that all the time. But you can't bring your bed to me. You can't bring your car to me. And so these are the things you have to start doing a little work yourself on. Uh, dehydration is a real big trigger for pain. Most of us are dehydrated. And the reason is, when you were an infant, there was a part of your brain that controlled hunger and a part of your brain that controlled thirst in the hypothalamus. 
As you get older, those two parts of the brain grow together. And when those parts of the brain grow together, you have a tough time distinguishing between hunger and thirst. So a lot of us are eating when in reality we're just thirsty. And when you dehydrate, muscles contract, the brain contracts, and that can cause pain. One of the reasons you get a hangover is alcohol is a diuretic. Diuretic means what? It makes you pee. Do you ever notice how you drink one beer, you pee out three? Where those other two beers come from? Your body is giving up its own vital fluid to flush the alcohol out of your system. And in the process, you dehydrate. So when you wake up, what's the first thing you want? I need water. I need a drink. I need some fluids because your body's dehydrated. And so most of us don't drink enough water because we're not thirsty. And if we are thirsty, it's already later on in, in the game. You shouldn't get to that point. So certain odors can do it. Dehydration is a biggie too. So make sure you drink a lot of water. Uh, herbal teas count as water. Okay, that's okay. Uh, you can add lemon juice to your water if you want to. You can use uh, stevia as a sweetener if you want to. Seltzer, bubbly water works okay. But make sure you're getting enough fluid. How do you know you're getting enough fluid? When you pee, it should be clear. Now, if you want to really test it, pee into a glass, a clear glass, and look at it. Hold it up to the light. There shouldn't be a bunch of stuff floating around in it. There certainly shouldn't be any red in it. That could be blood, and that could be very serious. Now, the only reason your urine wouldn't be clear is if you're taking, like, let's say, Dr. Joe's B-Complex, which you'd be taking every day anyway, then it would be like a fluorescent orange or yellow, more of a yellow. That's okay. But other than that, be careful. Now, one of the problems I see is that people say, well, Dr. Joe, if I drink too much, I can't sleep at night. I got to get up and pee. Seems men more than women. So what I do is I stop drinking most of my fluids around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then you don't have to get up and pee. You have from 3 o'clock till 9, 10 o'clock to normalize. Now you could sip a little water here and there. That's what I do. But I, don't dr I drink most of my big water in the morning. And then by 3 o'clock, I stop so I can make it through the night. So if you're drinking beer, whiskey, champagne, of course, those can all trigger headaches, and they also dehydrate you. When they dehydrate you, that can cause pain as well. So my rule is I don't recommend you drink alcohol, but if you do, you shouldn't. But if you don't, if you still do, you shouldn't. But if you still do, uh, for every drink you have, three glasses of water and one of Dr. Joe's B-complexes. Okay? I take super green. I would say super green central source and B-complex a second dose later in the day if you're going to go out drinking and then make sure you drink three glasses of water for every drink that you have. Several things will happen. You won't dehydrate. The B-complexes are going to be depleted. It's going to help replenish the B-complexes. Um, you'll be in a bathroom a lot. You'll be peeing a lot. So you won't have time to drink as much. Um, but you really got to realize what you're doing to yourself when you put alcohol. So dangerous. The other night I went, a friend of mine was playing, uh, he plays guitar, and he was playing at a restaurant, and he invited me. So I went, and a couple of my other friends were there, and I was amazed how much booze people drink. I'm not around that much anymore. I mean, when I was in high college, of course, we, you know, we all went out. But now I'm not around it, and I was just shocked. I mean, sucking down whiskeys and, uh, and gin and tonics. And I know I sound like the weirdo that everybody does this. Of course they do, but to me it was shocking. Not only the alcohol, but the cost. I mean, and the risk of driving. I'm fine, I can drive. I know somebody I know got a DUI. It's been two years now. They're still playing with it. It's cost tens of thousands of dollars. And having to go to DUI classes and having to go to Al Alcoholics Anonymous classes, getting drug tested. I mean, DUI is not a game anymore. It's not like the old days. And when I was in high school, you got pulled over. Here's a ticket, and it, you drive home. I never had that happen, but my friend, my friend Kevin did a lot. Um, but now it's a real serious issue. So try to stay away from the alcohol. It's so bad for you on so many different levels. And you know what? If you're healthy, you don't need to have that artificial high. I mean, I, I know it sounds trite and kind of Pollyanna, but when you're healthy, I, I want to be on top of my game at all times. I don't ever want to alter my perception of life. Other things that can cause pain. I'm getting off on a moral lecture here. Uh, drop in blood sugar. Sometimes you think, well, I'm going to eat less food because I'm going to lose weight. No, it's a good idea to eat. If you, don't, if you want to lose weight, by the way, go to our website, drjoe.com, and type in weight loss. And we did a whole sh couple of shows on weight loss. You could listen to it. We have a 21-day weight loss protocol that you can do. It's online. We can send it to you. You come in the office. We can do it together. It's a great way to kind of reset your body. And weight is one of the big reasons patients have pain. Because for every pound that you're overweight, it's like three to five pounds of excess weight on, stress on your hip. So losing weight is going to be really helpful when it comes to uh, trying to get pain out of your life. And if you don't know how to lose weight, I used to be fat. I understand. I was a kid, but I understand what it's like to be fat. Um, you can listen to the show we did on weight loss. Also listen to the show we did on addiction. Because food is an addiction. You can't stop eating it. 
listen to the show we did on addiction. You're going to learn a lot there too. And then we put you on a 21 day uh, protocol to kind of reset the brain so that those cravings go away so that you can actually move forward when it comes to losing weight. So we're talking today about pain. I got so much more to cover. I'm not even close to where I want to be, but we're almost out of time. Um, so if you do have any questions, you can always send them to, to us through the website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. Um, search the website. Chances are we've written articles or we've done lectures on it or we've done radio shows. Search the website. Just type in what you're looking for. Hit enter. Um, if you can't find it, then you could send us a question. A little bot pops up and says, hey, would you like to chat? Uh, chances are good that one of us, Garrett, Joe, or myself, are going to get the message right away and try to respond. If we don't, we're not ignoring you. It's a bot, folks. We're not online 24 hours a day, but the computer is. Send us the question. We will answer it to you. Make sure that you put your proper email address in. Because every now and then I get a question. I type up this long answer to it. I give you the research on it. I hit send, and it says not a valid email address. So it's your, that's on you then. So if we didn't get back to you, chances are there was a mistake there. But the website's loaded with information. We have over 1,500 hours of podcasts. Now, if you're a podcast junkie and you use a podcast service, look up Dr. Joe for the health of it. Some of them have it listed differently. Sometimes it's just Dr. Joe, but Dr. Joe for the health of it. That's our podcast handle. And so you can search us there. You could, you could just you know, binge out on podcast after podcast. We have about 1,500 hours on the website and on the podcast services. Uh, if you'd like to make an appointment, again, it's usually 375 for the first visit. We've reduced that to 199 We accept most insurances for treatment after that. Uh, that includes exam, x-rays, consultation, adjustment, going over the x-rays, nutrition report. But if you come in, be prepared to get treatment. Don't come in one and done because you're wasting your time and your money. You don't want to get exposed to radiation if you don't have to for x-rays. Be ready to get well. We're going to work on the nervous system. We're going to work on your digestive system. We're going to work on your diet. Again, the supplements, minimum supplements you should be taking are Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, and Dr. Joe's Vitamin D. Once summer comes around, you might be able to drop off that vitamin D. But we customize a nutrition plan for every one of our patients. And we can do that for you, too, if you're not a patient, but there will be a cost for that, of course. As a patient, it's all included. And we accept most insurances. If you've ever been in a car accident, ever, if the car was damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. Don't be fooled into thinking, oh, it's only a little bit of pain, it'll go away. No, you've got to get it fixed right away because the longer you wait, the more damage occurs and the insurance company may deny your claim. I've seen that happen. So even if it's your fault, folks, you're still damaged, you need to come see us. Uh, with the PRP, like I said, hair replacement, erectile dysfunction, pain management, we can do spinal injections. Uh, we have payment plans available for you if you want it. We have financing available. We accept insurance, Medicare. I don't know how I can make it easier for you to be a patient. And we have four offices, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. So, folks, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Tell your friends about the show. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Very important. you got to do this. At Dr. Joe Esposito. We post almost every day. At Dr. Joe Esposito. The website, drjoe.com. Tell your friends about the show. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next week.